Good morning, folks. It's 5.45 in the morning, and I'm out here at the California Delta. I'll be fishing with another YouTuber. I'm pretty sure most of y'all know him. He's mobbing outdoors, and he's already out there, I think. We were supposed to meet up at 5, but my sorry ass just cannot get up in the morning because I had, like, maybe an hour of sleep, if even that. I just had very, very little sleep. And, you know, I, I, I fell asleep through the first alarm. So I got up a little late and uh, mobbing outdoors. If you're watching this video right now, I'm sorry I didn't get up on time. I really am. I, you know, I got here a little late, but I am here now officially. And today I'm hoping that the chatterbait bite is going to be good because it's been a while since I've gotten a good reaction bite. And I'm really hoping that since right now it's high tide and it's not you know too hot right now later on it's gonna get a lot hotter so i think that right now is the perfect time to get out there and get some reaction bites so without further ado i'm gonna set up everything and then head out there and meet up with mobbing outdoors see y'all in a minute What's good, man? What's up, What's up man? Ian. Up? Nice to meet you, bro. What's good, bro? What's up, man? Put it over there. Put it over there. Put my camera over here. Check it out, dude. This is like one of the most funniest dudes on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Air bump. Air bump. There we go. That's what's up, man. <laughs> Bro, we're trying to get out. We're, we're over here just to wait for you. For we're sure. Go back over there. We're getting up those loose, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. All right, let's go. I got so many comments about the scuffers, and I was like, and I was like, oh, so that's, that's what, what that shit's for, 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 man. I was like, okay. I feel like a f***ing grade A dumbass. So how did you drain your boat? Did you tip it over? Yeah, I just had to carry the whole thing, just f***ing dump it out, man. I was like, ah, oh, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. Someone commented, they're like, dude, you almost had like a mini live well in there, bro. I was like, yeah, dude. Every time I put a fish in there, it would swim around in there. It practically got like a fucking aquarium. <laughs> Damn right, dude. <laughs> so, but you start off with a, um, with a blow tube, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, before that, I was like walking, and then I was like, you know what? I hate walking. I want to be like, being on the water gets me to more places, so I got a float tube at first because I wasn't sure if this was something that, you know, I was gonna take seriously, you know what I mean? And then after a couple months of really just enjoying fishing, I was like, you know what? I enjoy this a lot more than I thought originally, so I was like, it's time to upgrade. There you go. You know? Hell of an upgrade, brother. <laughs> Hell of an upgrade. I'm still trying to break my PB. Still six pounds and 38 no, ounces. I haven't broke six pounds yet, though. Oh, really? No. -uh. Shit. I, you know what, for this whole year, I will be here. Man, uh -huh. I have hit uh, fours of five, fives, I had five and a half. I hit a few of those, man, I can't break six. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to do too. I want to catch at least a seven, you know? Yeah, yeah I'm really thinking about uh, entering some Yakabass tournaments, but I want to. I want to upgrade my, get more rods in. Get like a frog rod, flipping rod. Those are like such. Hey, this is Aaron right here. That's Aaron. What's up, man? Ian. Ian? Yeah. Oh, gotta hit the paddle. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah. This one. <laughs> yeah, skunks out. A little guy. A little chunky guy. <laughs> I was like twitching up my rod. I was trying to lift it off the ground and then I felt some weight. Little dude. Well, folks, skunk is out. Take a look at that. Little dude, little dude. But uh, yeah, uh, first fish of the day. Not a big one, but uh, I'm sure I'll find them later. All right, little bud, see ya. I don't know if I hit a, a lot. Oh, there's one. 
a little bigger than the first one, but not by much. Ugh. Dink number two. <laughs> I thought it was a big one at first because he like pulled the slack out of my line. And I was like, oh shit. And then it turns out it's just a dink, but hey, I'll take it. See you, bud. Just a bunch of little guys. Ugh, fish number three though. Take a look at that folks. Another dink, another fish. See ya. like a keeper too. Stop it. All right, I'm going to just bring you into the... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to try to poke fuck you. There we go. Woo! Finally. First keeper of the day. Oh, my God. It's been so slow, man. It's been so freaking slow out here. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. First fish finally on the board with the, you know, this is the first keeper of the day. Caught like three dinks. And this is my first real fish. <laughs> Take a look at that beauty. Oh, she's absolutely gorgeous, man. Oh, it's been so tough. Oh, just taking a look at this fish. Just, like, catching a fish like this just makes me so satisfied. You know, that Delta is known for giants, and this sure as hell ain't a giant, but man, with the conditions and everything, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. In fact, I'm gonna go measure her right now. Uno momento, por favor. Alrighty, folks. Take a look at that. She's on the board, and she's on the tip of the mouth, all the way to the tail. Tip of the tail. She's at. Uh, 15 and a half inches long. Not bad. I'm a solid fish. 15 and a half inches ain't a monster, but it's still a pretty nice fish. Woo! Probably about like uh, two and a half, two to two and a half pounds. All right. Time for you to go back into the water, Bubba. Swim off. Live another day. Woo. There's one. Yeah, that little guy. Fish number five. <laughs> Dink number four. He's a chunky little guy though. Yeah. See ya. 
Alrighty folks, it's time for an update. So the bite has been very, 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 very tough today. Um, fish are few and far between. It's just really hard to put together a pattern because they're really scattered and they're kind of just all over the place. They're really random. I'm getting random bites. There's nothing really telling me right now where these fish, are, where a lot of these fish are hiding. Um, so it's just been tough. I mean, I've got four dinks, one keeper. You know, I'll be happy if I can get five keepers today. But man, it's just been slow. And uh, over there, out in the far, far distance, is mobbing outdoors. And uh, yeah, we've all just been struggling to uh, catch some nice fish. It's just been a tough day today. Nothing really spectacular, unfortunately. Which is very disappointing you know but that's how fishing goes not every day is going to be a not every day is going to be a great day so it is what it is i'm just going to keep on grinding and uh, continue to use my finesse fishing rod and uh by the way got a new reel it's called the pissy fun spartan 3000 i've been uh using it all day today and i absolutely love it and uh, yeah, this thing's just awesome. Been wanting to get a reaction bite, but that doesn't look like that's gonna happen for me today. I mean, it's just slow finessing, which really sucks, but hey, it's better than catching nothing. So yeah, just gonna keep on fishing and hopefully I bump into a big and see what happens. Now, I've always had some pretty good luck over here. Catching at least one or two. Let's see if my luck will prevail. Oh, this one. Yes. Yeah, buddy. Get over here. Another nice one. Oh, a solid fish. Get over here. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Oh. oh, you got attitude. Oh, you got attitude. Yeah. Another solid fish, folks. Look at that. Look at that. Just barely hooked this guy. I barely felt him bite. I didn't even feel a tick. Just saw my line move in there. Voila! This guy just swam off with it. Look at that. Like I said, it's been a slow day, so oh, ain't a giant, but still a very nice fish. Oh my god. Probably uh actually I'm not even a guess. I'm just gonna measure her right now so I can see where she is. Look at that folks. Take a look at that hog. I mean, the tip, tip the mouth. Oh God, this is so hard to show. She's just so, she's so slimy. <laughs> and she just wants to, you know, get released back into the water, so. Yeah, look at that. From the tip of the mouth to the tip of the tail. She's at, 16.75 inches, but technically the tail's nubbed off So the full length of the tail is actually right at 17 inches. Take a look at that Just right at 17 inches. Okay. 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 She's had enough. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a uh, quick picture of her and then uh, release this girl. She definitely wants to be released <laughs> Oh Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. She just jumped right off the measuring board. I'm pretty sure y'all just saw that. I tried to take a picture of her with the, uh, I tried to take a picture of her on the hog trough, but she didn't want it. another picture taken. So there she goes. What a fighter, man. Oh my god. That's this one. Wow. Wow, he's micro, man. He is micro. That is the smallest fish of the day. 
<laughs> and just goes to show you, man, the drop shot just doesn't discriminate. Big or small, fish just can't resist the drop shot. Tiny little dude, cute little guy. Hopefully he'll grow to be a 10 pounder. See ya. Nice one. Finally starting to catch these nicer fish. Ooh. Go. Oh. My day is starting to turn around now. <laughs> Look at that. What a delta chunk. Another fatty. Look at that. Oh my god, stop. These guys got so much fight in them. They will not give up. Stop, man. Just chill out, bud. Now you want to go back into your into your habitat. Your home. But, uh, you're stuck with me for a little bit, okay, bud? Just suck it up, man. <laughs> Alright. Take a look at this, folks. On the tip of the mouth to the tip of the tail, she's at 14 and a half. Oh, no, not 14 and a half. She's right at 14 inches. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. But yeah, she's at 14 inches, right about 14. Um, so, yeah, another. Gorgeous, healthy largemouth bass. Again, I'm just trying to figure out a pattern here. And I, honestly, I still really haven't figured out a pattern. I've just been getting bites here and there. Um, nothing on the chatterbait still. I've been fishing the chatterbait for like, uh, about two hours. And I just can't get a damn bite. Not one bite. Mobbing Outdoors actually got a really nice fish on the chatterbait. But uh, it flopped off before he managed to reel it in, which really sucks. But at least he got a bite and a solid bite on the chatterbait, which, you know, I've just been struggling to get any sort of reaction bite. But you know what? At least I'm catching fish. That's just, that really makes me happy, man. Especially with these tough conditions. I'll take anything. Gorgeous bass. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, beauty. Thank you for the fight. See ya! Okay, well, every time I call him, it goes straight to voicemail, so that means his phone's probably dead, or it's turned off, but more than likely it's dead. But, uh, Mobbing Outdoors, when you watch this video, just want to let you know, man, you should be fishing in this area. This area is pretty good right now. These docks um, next to these uh, trees and uh, lily pads and whatnot. Man, there are some decent sized fish. Not giants, but there are some decent sized fish right around this area. So um, I'm probably actually going to head back over there pretty soon. Once I'm done fishing this area, this stretch of water. Now I'm going to head back over there. They're probably still fishing by the Thule's. And uh, let them know that this area is actually pretty good. So, yeah. Going to keep on fishing. This one. Little guy. Little guy, little guy. Oh, not so little. Damn, they look a lot smaller in uh, in the water compared to when they're out of the water. <laughs> He's another keeper, hey, fourth keeper. All right, looks like I will get the five keeper limit. And once I get that limit, I can start culling. Once I, uh, if I catch a sixth keeper, <laughs> let's not get a, too ahead of ourselves. Focus on catching five fish first. Five keepers, that is. And then we can talk about upgrading. Damn, this uh, 
Delta has uh, it's been tough, but now it looks like it's starting to turn around for me. I hope I didn't just jinx myself there. Um, no word on where Marvin Outdoors is. Uh, Marvin, if you're watching this video, man, where you at, bro? Where you at? Called you three times, but your phone's dead, and uh, I don't see any of the other kayakers, so I am. Um, I'm very lonely, man. I'm lonely. I need friends. Where are my buddies at? Who need friends? <laughs> no, but seriously, Marvin, where you at? Where you at, man? Come on. Come on. Don't do this to me, dog. Where you at? I know you weren't planning on fishing the whole day, but still, where you at? Where you at? <sighs> All right, I need to get the pliers up. This guy's actually hooked pretty well. And then, uh, probably take a picture of him and uh, release him okay bud thank you for the fight go tell your other big brothers and sisters to bite too man it's been tough for me but I think it's gonna start changing the tide's gonna start changing it's gonna be in my favor you good bud oh. I'm being blown around by the wind come on swim off man you free there we go. Guess who's probably calling? Marvin! Ha <laughs> ha! Yo, what's up, man? Huh? Hey, Marvin! Yo! Hey, are you still out or are you uh, back at the launch ramp? Uh, we're heading back soon. Where are you at? Oh, I'm still fishing. The bite's actually been pretty good. I've managed to uh, get four keepers so far, so not bad at all. Alright, cool. Yeah, uh, shoot, we're hitting the slack tide right now. We're like, fuck, we're just gonna cut. Oh, shit, okay. Um, are you gonna stay or are you, are you gonna come along? Shit. Yo, yo, finish your, uh, your fifth keeper, bro. Alright, alright. Well, hey, man, um, it was a blast. I wish, I wish we actually got to, uh, talk more and fish, but, uh, I. Oh, man, you yeah 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 i was just super in the zone i caught a 17 inch or so i was like once i caught that i was like okay well now i'm definitely in the zone and i definitely want to catch an even bigger one so i just got keep, keep, keep it, keep it, bro. all right for sure man well uh you had you enjoy the rest of your day man hey likewise brother all right for sure i'll catch you sometime soon man all right take care all right you too buddy see ya Okay, folks, I just got off the phone with Marvin, and uh, he's heading back to the launch ramp right now, and I decided to uh, continue fishing because uh, I really want to catch a fifth keeper. The next time Marvin and I will be fishing will be at Big Break because they have a tournament, a Yakabass tournament coming up that's at Big Break, so they want to get familiar with the place. And I've actually been there a couple times, the first time with uh, my boy Chris, and uh, Chris... If you're watching this video you and I need to do some fishing together too man I've been wanting to been wanting to hit you up but my schedule's just been whack as shit so um yeah we do need to do some fishing together and ASAP man but anyways I'm gonna keep on fishing and uh yeah the next time that I'll be fishing with Marvin we'll be at big break and hopefully it'll be a good day and maybe Chris will join us too so yeah I'm gonna keep on grinding. Let's hope that I catch the fifth keeper. There's one. A little guy. Dude, little dude, little dude, little dude. Well, this is still a fish. We are at uh, low tide now. So, the bite is going to slow down. That's why Marvin and the rest of them uh, bailed because, you know, the low tide is not easy to fish. And you just don't get as many bites. And especially since today hasn't been the best day out in the water. But, uh, yeah. 
Anyways, um, I don't even know what number this is, but yeah, it's a fish. Bye. This one. Wow, super tiny. As the tide drops, the fish are getting smaller. But, you know what? I'll take anything. It's not like I'm in a tournament or something like that. So, you know what? Just being out here and being able to fish and catch fish um, is a blessing. And I know at some point in time, another nice solid fish will come up and take my bait. So, see ya, bud. Okay, folks. Woo! I think this one's gonna be a keeper. It's been pretty slow. Bite's tough, man. Bite's really, really tough. But, uh, that's to be expected during low tide. Yeah, this one's definitely gonna keep. Uh, nice, healthy, pretty looking Delta Bass. Let's uh, measure her real quick and then uh, send her back on her way. Okay. Yep, there we go. She's a keeper. That's a keeper right there. All right, so from the tip of the mouth to the tip of the tail, she's just right slightly over 12 inches. I'd say 12 and a quarter. Take a look at that, folks. Tip of the tail, just slightly over 12 inches. So, little keeper, little guy, little dude. Awesome. You know, not the, not the fish, not the fifth keeper that I was hoping to catch. I was hoping to catch like something huge, but hey, I finally got myself a limit and uh, for the rest of the day, I can start culling until my, uh, I can, well, that's if I can catch more keepers. You know, it is low tide, so it's gonna be tough. This may be the best I can uh, do for today. So we'll just have to see. And uh, I don't know, I don't have a lot of battery left. I have one more battery, one more fully charged battery uh, in the front compartment. So once that's out, then I'll just have to head home. But until then, I'm just gonna keep on fishing. Hopefully I can catch a bigger fish and uh, that way I can start culling. But uh, yeah, pretty little dude. Okay, buddy, off you go. This one. This one feels pretty good. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Oh, yeah, not bad at all. Oh, what a fighter. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at the way my rod is bending, man. Oh, yeah. 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 This is the sixth keeper of the day for sure. For sure. For f***ing sure. Hell yeah. Alright, buddy. Get over here. Okay. Woo. Good fight, boy. Good fight. All right. Into the kayak. Okay. Take a look at that, folks. So, from the tip of the mouth to the tip of the tail, she is at 14... Slightly over 14 and a half inches, but I'm just going to say, uh, actually, we'll say 14.75. Yeah, 14 and three quarters. So, damn near 15 inches. Solid ass fish, man. Oh, I'm getting close to the shore. We don't want that. We do not want that. All right. Well, I'm, uh, Take a couple pictures of this beauty. 
and then uh, send her on her way. Woo! Oh, Ooh, there's a fish. Oh! Oh, he spit it out. Oh. God damn it. This one. Oh, yes. All right, don't lose this guy. Whew. I'm not gonna lose him. I'm not gonna lose him, folks. You know what? This calls for the net. I don't know why I didn't bring this thing out earlier. It, what it calls for now. Calls for a net. I don't screw this up. I don't screw this up, Ian. It's a nice chatterbait fish. Alright. Come here, bro. Come here. Come here, mate. Come here. Ah. There we go. Woo. Oh my god. Take a look at that, folks. Oh, I'm gonna try to catch a chatterbait fish. Oh, freaking day. And then finally, this toad just came up and slammed the chatterbait. Woo finally, look at that. It's a healthy looking ass fish, too. Oh my god. I've been wanting to catch a chatterbait fish. For days! Oh my god! Oh, I could just literally pass out now and go to sleep happy for like an eternity because I'm just so happy. <laughs> I literally finally caught a f***ing chatterbait fish. It's choking me so many tries. Oh my goodness. If I was to show y'all every cast that I made, it probably would have counted up to a goddamn near a hundred. Cause I caught, I got three bites on the chatterbait within the past hour. And I missed all of them cause I couldn't set the hook properly. But this guy, this mother actually took the chatterbait and I actually did a proper hook set on this guy. Look at that, look at that folks. Look at that hook set, man. He ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. Woo! Look at that. That's a beauty. That is a beauty. Okay, chatterbait fish. Thank you for biting. It means a lot to me. Go tell your other friends to take the chatterbait too. Promise I'll let you go. <laughs> All right, folks, so it's officially the end of the day now. My battery is about to die, and I have no more spare batteries left because they're all dead. So I'm gonna make this outro as short and simple as possible. First and foremost, fishing with Mobbin Outdoors was an absolute blast today. I got to meet him and a few of his buddies, and it was just an absolute blast. I had so much fun and we all got along very very well every single one of the kayakers that i met today were just super chill super friendly and really easy going and you know that's what i love about this uh kayak bass fishing community is that most of the people seem to be pretty chill and mobbing outdoors is one of them he's this really really nice guy super friendly i mean if you can't get along with marvin then you're just a weird mother you know like i'm being straight up honest like you have to be a really really weird person and a complete introvert 
to not get along, to not be able to get along with Marvin, because that guy is just super nice and super friendly. You know, he just really is a great guy, and I mean that a hundred percent. And I will definitely be fishing with him more often. And our next trip will be at Big Break, which I'm super excited about. For those of you who don't know who Marvin is, he runs a YouTube channel under the username Mob and Outdoors. And I will leave a link to his channel down in the description box below. So please go check it out. And if you haven't subscribed to his channel, what are you doing? Go subscribe right now now if you don't subscribe to his channel i hope you get hit by a bus and die i'm just kidding <laughs> that is too harsh but seriously go subscribe to his channel secondly today's fishing was an absolute grind or at least in the morning it was a pretty brutal grind we were all in the zone we weren't talking that much which was a bit unfortunate i really would have loved to get to know marvin better but since the bite was tough today we were all just in the zone and we were all trying to catch some nice quality fish and we all did we all managed to catch some nice ones and that's a great thing. I wound up catching a ton of fish. I've completely lost count, and I probably won't even bother to count them when I rewatch all this footage. But I know for a fact that I caught seven keepers today. The biggest one was 17 inches long, and one of the keepers that I caught today was off of the chatterbait, which made me super happy because I really wanted to get a reaction bite today and I finally did. I actually got quite a few, I got like three bites today off the chatterbait, but I just could not set the hook properly on those fish. And so every time I tried to set the hook on them, they would just flop right off. They would swim up towards the surface of the water, jump out, throw the hook out, and then plop right back into the water. So. I lost a few of them, and some of them were pretty nice, and that really pissed me the f off. But you know what? That's part of fishing, so it is what it is, and I'm glad that I met my goal for today, which was to get five keepers, and I surpassed that. I managed to get seven, so I am more than happy. I am truly satisfied. All right, my battery is literally about to die. It's at 1% now, so, Thank you guys for watching, hope y'all enjoy the video, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you better subscribe right now. Until next time, peace!